easily uh, edit what we look like within home and you can see that we have a great deal of control over all the different aspects of the face using a very simple control of the uh, thumbsticks left and right and the ability to move our head around using the six axis controller as well. So move the six axis about as we tilt around, there we go. So rather than spend a great deal of time focusing on individual uh, face customization, let's go and look at some presets that we've made already. And you can see that the tremendous variety of face presets um, that we've made allow users to really customize their look and feel, not just how they look, but their face, their hair, and the accessories that, we, uh, that they wear as well. So where can you go in home? Well, look around you. First of all, you can see behind us that we have uh, dynamic advertising being pushed into the space. Um, this allows the latest games or game brands or any brand to be represented inside the home central lounge. As we walk around you can see that our banner ads really are banners. They are uh, located in the 3D world as is HD quality video. The ability to have high definition quality video streamed and run inside uh, the 3D space. Obviously advertising, obviously latest games could be shown this way as well. You'll notice that every user around you is communicating. These are other PlayStation 3 users who are communicating with each other using a variety of uh, technologies. We can use quick chat, we can use virtual keyboards, and we can use voice chat. Um, this will allow us to string together big sentences, and we can also use animations. So, Scott, you can show us what we can do here today. Uh, everything we do in home is as easy and simple to use as possible. So the first thing we can do is we can create simple phrases using the directional pad. Um, that lets you ask questions or make statements. The second thing we do is we have a virtual keyboard and it remembers um, things that you've entered before and you just, uh, oop, I meant to say hi there, but anyway. I don't uh, think Adrian's going to be too happy about that, <laughs> Scott. Nice one, very good. <laughs> uh, and uh, we also support USB keyboards, obviously. And the last thing that we do is we, uh, we say, we say uh, hi over voice chat. Hi, Adrian, thanks for joining us online today. How are you doing? Hi Scott, thanks for having me. Do you fancy playing a game in a bit? Uh, well, I'll meet you in the games room. We're going to continue with the demonstration. So, as, uh, as Adrian said, uh, you can play some games. So let's go check out some other places that you get as part of the public spaces within home. Uh, the first one of which is a games lounge. So this was invented to create opportunities for social interaction, to allow players in a very low intensity environment to meet, to share, to get to know each other while playing very easy, very simple multiplayer games. And you can see that in this lounge we've got pool tables, we've got arcade machines and we've got a bowling alley. We've also got video streaming in of the latest, greatest, most highest reviewed PlayStation 2 games you could possibly buy like God of War 2. Sorry, I couldn't resist that one. And then we have uh, our pool table. You can just walk up, you can join in a pool game, you can play pool, it's all physics based, it works all embedded inside the world. We can also walk over to our bowling alley and we can go and uh, have a, a quick uh, frame of bowls, bowling. And Scott is going to show us his uh, misspent youth here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly spending far too much time in the office. And then uh, we have these uh, embedded arcade cabinets. Now the arcade machines are actually user definable. You can select which games you want to play and you can download additional arcade games into the space. This keeps you immersed in the world while you're playing. So um, while you can play this um, simple little game, while you can play this really simple little game, you can also bring up the virtual... You can also bring up the virtual PSP and you can look around the space all the, all the while maintaining the immersion, maintaining the communication, maintaining the collaboration, being able to chat with other people. So let's look at some of the other spaces that you can get to within home. Let's bring up our virtual PSP again and let's go into the world map. Now, we've talked about the public spaces, let's talk about the private spaces. Everybody in home has their own private apartment that they can visit and they can customize and they can extend and they can trick out. Now, why would you want to do this? Well, it's an opportunity for you to invite your friends, your buddy list onto, your friends list onto and into your apartment. So let's bring our friend Adrian over into our apartment. And while we're doing that, let's go on a little bit of uh, interior decoration and design. So uh, 
First thing we can do is change the wallpaper. This is a pretty basic apartment, but very quickly and very easily you can change the look and feel of it by tricking it out with new apartment, uh, new designs. Nice hearts there, Scott. And if you are a, if you're a particular fan of a, of a certain game, you could have something like Resistance Fall of Man wallpaper as your chosen uh, wallpaper. And this could become your clan's club room. You could invite your clan back to your space all the time to communicate and to share and to collaborate. Um, you can go and sit on the furniture, you can uh, chat with people that you've invited around to your space. Um, all the communication functionality works anywhere in home, so whenever you see another user, you can have a chat. Now, you can also download additional furniture. Um, the furniture that you can get will either be free or will be premium items or could be linked to particular games as well. So uh, let's bring in a chair. Now, uh, as we move the uh, furniture around, you'll notice that you have a great deal of control over where you put it, and it's also physics-based. So wherever you want to lay, lay it down, you can do so. You can pile all of your furniture in a big pile in the corner if you so wish. But let's customize the space even more. Let's put a picture frame up on the wall. And what we are able to do is to take any content that is yours that's on your PlayStation 3 hard disk drive and display it inside your personal apartment. Anybody who visits your personal apartment will get to see this content stream to them as well. So here we have a picture frame which we can pin to the wall. Now, um, that's a great logo, but it's perhaps not the most uh, interesting thing to, uh, to share in our apartment space here. So uh, let's, um, let's put in uh, some uh, pictures that we have from uh, our hard disk drive. And oh, here we've got some wonderful slides that we've been showing earlier on. And so um, here we have the slides, and uh, Scott can point to different parts of the, um, the slides. There we go. And he can, yes, of course. <laughs> Now, I think um, while that is um, very um, interesting and exciting, um, what we would be um, better off doing is customizing the experience with um, some user-created content. So if you will forgive me, I will uh, quickly take your photograph. If we could have the house lights up a little bit and everybody smile. And anybody who doesn't want to be in this picture, please raise your hand. And then uh, let's take the memory stick out. And we can pop this straight back into our PlayStation 3 here. And you can simply walk up to the picture frame and you can um, go for uh, the picture that we've just had uh, from our memory stick. Uh, memory stick, up one, there we go. Yeah, it's not the same. Yeah. Oh, it's on machine four. I'm putting it in the wrong machine, that's why. OK, so we're not going to find it there. Right. So imagine that I've just taken your picture and you've seen it in there. So uh, now I understand what she was telling me from the side of the stage. OK, so um, let's, um, let's go to another apartment. Let's check out an apartment which um, we have uh, tricked out a little bit more, which shows a more advanced apartment, um, an apartment that you could extend the available space uh, by buying a bigger location. Um, and also getting more and more furniture. And this is the kind of apartment that we think would be um, the kind of uh, more upscale space. It's multiple levels. It's got a pool table in it as well. You can see behind us. Uh, let's go back and have a quick look at the pool table. You can have these premium items embedded in your space as well. And we can go down onto uh, the outdoor deck and we can have a look at our friends who are having a party um, on our space as well. Now, um, music that we play from our PlayStation 3 hard disk drive can be streamed um, to other users um, within the, the space, but also video. So uh, let's position a PlayStation, uh, let's position a Sony Bravia TV inside the apartment as well. Let's add that in there. And we can walk up to the TV and very simply uh, customize the content. Um, that we have on our TV. So here we can put the Casino Royale trailer uh, running live on our Bravia TV. It, we have proximity-based audio, so when you walk up to things, they um, sound louder as you get closer to them. And of course, being that this is a real physics-based world,